Hi guys. <clears throat> I was talking with uh, a lady day before yesterday, um, and and uh, during the, the time we was talking, this scripture in Ephesians uh, six come up, and uh, I was looking at the King James, or I was. I I, I had it out and when we was talking. I, I this here come up, you know, because I was in the process of looking things up. And I realize that, that sometimes we can get looking at words, and by looking at them, we can kind of lose track of, of what this is really about. And I don't want to ever forget or ever ever get so sidetracked looking words up that I don't realize that the reason we've got this is because of the, uh, the resurrection, the death and resurrections of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. See, the resurrection, because of his uh, dying and beating death and and his father raising him from the dead, because of that, we have uh, we have been justified. We've been uh, cleansed of all sin. Sin is, has no effect anymore. Clean, the sin was, was done away with and because of that. And through that, through the faith, we have salvation. We have been saved by that, by the death of Jesus Christ. It was uh, uh, in Ephesians. It was talking about the uh, the uh, approach present of God. Christ was the approach present, the offering, uh, you know, for salvation. But so anyway, this word, this in Ephesians six, this is what I was talking. We was talking about uh, part of it. And Ephesians six seventeen. This is in the uh, the uh, companion by I got the companion uh, King James and it says and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God okay now for me not really understanding things as because you know I don't know if y'all know it or not but uh, a couple of three years ago uh, I didn't understand all of this, uh, I've been understanding for quite a while the the salvation of all. I, I, I picked that up quite a bit, quite a while back. Uh, but been in the church of the worldwide church of God, I didn't understand. I I was one of them kids. You know, I was a kid in there, and and mom and dad got kicked out of that church because they was asking about Paul's gospel, and they spoke mostly about the the uh, Old Testament. See. And so my life, my idea of living and dying uh, was you lived until you died, and that was that. And I was talking to mom yesterday, and she said, well, you know, the, you, did, you did know about the uh, second chance. You know, everybody had a second chance. Well, I said, yeah, I knew that to the point that I figured that uh, when the tribulation hit that we'd all run to the rocks. They talk about going to the rocks somewhere in PETA or Petra or somewhere, I, I don't remember that. Uh, but we go hide in the rocks and and we're going to be saved and go to the place of safety, which I, I, I don't know and I'm rambling, <laughs> you know. Uh, but anyway, I figured, well, they they take these people by into the concentration camps or the prison camps or whatever they're going to do. I didn't understand it. And they give them a second chance. You know, hey, you're either become a follower of of uh, of the Christianity or whatever it was, I uh, of the Church of God, or uh, you know you're dead. So that's all I knew. I, I thought you dead, you're dead. Now, <laughs> see, so so now that I understand this, and I've had this understanding in about a year. Uh, and this word, this thing. Okay, take up and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit which is the Word of God. So I looked. I was looking in the concordant version, and it says, in verse 17 of Ephesians 6, And receive the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is a declaration of God. See? And, and so I'm looking at that word. Words, to me, words mean things. So the word receive here, and receive the and receive the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, or you take it. This in here says you take the 
and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. See, and to me, that means two different things. There's two different things there. Uh, in, in the churches that I was going to, Word of God, uh, I, I don't understand, I don't know what they meant by the Word of God, but the Word of God was, was holy. I understand that, the Word of God. And they'd hold their Bibles up and they'd say, you know, this is, this is the Word of God. They hold their Bible, this is the Word of God. And it was like they worshiped the King James Bible. They worship it. That, that is the Word of God. That's it. That's infallible. But I'm finding things in it that ain't right. I mean, that's not the wording. It, it, see, the word take in the King James and the word receive. To me, being a new guy, just starting to understand this thing, okay? If I, if I take something, I, I I grasp I I take it I take it like you 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 uh, you take it's kind of out of force and you you take it it's aggressive aggression you take it aggressive and even if you if you have it in your hand and you say here uh, take it take it it's it's more of a force take it or else type thing you know take it or else but see you can't take I've learned you can't take salvation. You have to receive it. It's reception. You receive salvation. It's humbling. You you receive it. It's a it's a gift. You receive it. You don't take it. You don't take salvation. You receive it. See? <laughs> to me, that makes sense. I mean, that's that's the way it is. Uh, Jesus was a he was the Approach present. I gotta get my guys on. I can't see this stuff with approach present. See, I'm fooling myself. I get to, get to looking. Where did I see? Oh, here in, in Ephesians chapter two, in verse eight. See, or back it up. Uh, verse seven says he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For in grace, through faith, are you saved. And this is not out of you. It is God's approach present. <laughs> God's approach present. It's a, it's a, it's a, a present. From, it's approach present. See? So, to me, this stuff, this stuff is all new. This is, I'm understanding this stuff. You know, I'm still digging. But guess what? I understand Paul's writing that Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Christ revealed himself to Paul. He didn't go back into the 12 apostles that he dealt with on the earthly realm, on the earthly ministry he done. He didn't go back to him. No, he picked out this scoundrel uh, Saul and had a flash. He changed his mind, didn't he? He repented in his mind. I mean, it was a flash. So this thing here, <laughs> and receive the helmet. So I just thought I'd pass that on. All right? <laughs> it's fun. But... I got to get going. I got company out the door out there. I hear them ding dong, ding dong. <laughs>